All right, this is Guy and, and Matthew, and we're uh, heading into uh, Zion right now. And here's the view that we've got. Uh, on the right up there is uh, the Watchman. Other formations around here. And these amazing red roads, kind of a typical Zion experience there. Just went through a small town to get some food for tomorrow. And tomorrow is going to be a big wall in a day. We're going to do space shot. And the uh, the route that we're going to do is uh, primrose dihedrals. It's going to be rocking. Mm -hmm. Be down in time for the route of the space shot. Oh, but there you go. <laughs> on, the Details. on the leaning wall. Yeah. All right, fine. I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> My first time here. Details. And uh, we'll let uh, Matthew keep the route sign in. <laughs> All right, we're heading to the uh, the campground, which is the Watchman Campground, and that right there is the Watchman. Pretty sweet. Looks like every cliff around here is climbable. Maybe some big walling right there. Unbelievable. All right, we're on the shuttle right now, just doing a little sightseeing. We're gonna go to the Narrows. A map and guide. Up, Teddy. Signs in the visitor Hello. center plaza can direct you to a separate shuttle system. Matthew, checking out National the views. To the town of Springdale. Little camera side. While on the shuttles, please do not drink anything other than water, eat, smoke, or bring pets on board. Keep your arms and legs. There was a guy with his baby there, right near the top, like really stuff. And connect to the park to the nearby Bryce Canyon National Park. Wildly overhanging. And Grand Canyon. You can follow the river 1.7 miles to the Zion Canyon Visitor Center, or one mile to the Zion Human History Museum. Long sand and mud removed by the Virgin River originate in the park's many rock layers. The oldest of which dates back almost 200. Million years. The ancient environments of this area were vastly different from what we see today. For millions of years, right. sediments accumulated. The volatile river continues to pose challenges to the park and its visitors as it shapes and sculpts the surrounding landscape. This was demonstrated in the winter of 2000. Okay, checking in here. I think it's Tuesday, something like that. Doesn't really matter. But we're in Zion and uh, we're on Touchstone right here next to Angel's Landing. And we got Matthew leading up uh, pitch number two. He's rocking the house. And uh, here's our little setup. And here's the panorama. All right, we're having a great time, and uh, weather is perfect. All right. All right, it's Matthew and Guy, and we are at about halfway point on uh, Touchstone. This place is rocking. We're at a little ledge right here. You can see it. What's up, Matthew? Matthew just uh, freed the uh, 10B section, which was rocking. It's pretty happy. I got some pretty good leads of myself. And uh, we are basically trying to free as much as we can and aid only when we have to. lunch going right now. Here's uh, the rest of the ledge. Our rope's all stacked up. Yep. And then here's the view looking down. There's one of the shuttle stations. Angel's Landing. 
great white throne looks beautiful today. Actually, the river looks awesome too. I guess this is the mountain where they uh, lowered some wood they were scavenging from the top. Here's the rest of our wall over here. Pretty rocking. River looks awfully nice right now. All right, this is Guy and Matthew again. It's uh, 4:11, and we started with the uh, 7 o'clock a.m. Uh, bus, and I think we started the climb maybe about 7:30. Got on the trail. There's Matthew. We're both uh, pretty psyched. We're at the summit right here of Touchstone. It's got a little kind of summit uh, block to it that we'll probably scramble up maybe. And uh, you can see this whole amazing panorama that we're going through. The view of the Great White Throne is just amazing. We're a little tired, but not too bad. we got a lot of wraps ahead of us. And here is our panorama right there. Um, and that beast is the Great White Throne. And coming down is this amazing feature, which is kind of like the spur of uh, Angel's Landing. And that has this amazing knife ridge. You can see right there. It goes up to the very top. That's where all the hikers are. And I think Teddy's up there. And then over here, there's another knife ridge goes along through there and over to Moonlight Buttress and just for a look of, of our route I'm going to take you over the edge which is completely overhanging I'm not sure if the shadows are, are good right there or not but there's a, a shuttle right there we've been seeing those all day and uh, this is awesome man first time in Zion and we're doing it in style. I think we're heading off now to uh, to go wrap and uh, go hit the, uh, the the stream. Uh, I guess the Virgin River or something like that, and maybe the Narrows. All right, we got Matthew repelling the very last two pitches of uh, touchstone and we're on two 70 meter ropes which makes for one heck of a rock and repel and I'm basically on the the ground and we're gonna head to the river immediately and go get some uh, go get some water you're on camera buddy Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. It could have gone really poorly. But uh could have gone really poorly. That could have gone so poorly. Alright buddy, we made it man. Cheers, man. Cheers. Okay. That was, that was. We'll have to work on that a little bit. We'll have to work on that.